picture this, you're on an airplane. The person sitting right next to you, they're coughing, they're sneezing, ah, chew. Oh, I hate that. You feel that spray on your arm. Oh. Would you ask to switch seats? Would you just sit there and stick it out? Or would you take it to the extreme, like this guy? Jet setters beware. Studies found you may be up to 100 times more likely to catch a cold in flight than on the ground. A germ-fearing passenger decided to take matters into his own hands on a flight to Jacksonville, Florida recently. Flight attendants reported he continually harassed a young woman who was coughing throughout the flight, <coughs> saying she was infecting everyone. Then, as they were exiting the plane, he body-slammed her against the wall. The man was arrested on charges of misdemeanor battery. Oh, man. Wow, that's uh, that's quite a germaphobe. Germaphobe yeah. gone bad. Wow. Yeah. So let's talk about this. This guy's a germaphobe. He body slammed her, took it to the next level. But what would you do? Well, you I mean, do would you just does sit there and just, just kind of point your head the other way? Yeah, but or if he's you really a germaphobe, something? wouldn't he want to get away right. from her, mm -hmm. not body slam her? Now well, that's some, for sure. Well, sometimes there's a full yeah, plane, yeah. and sometimes there are people who don't do your little birdie thing, and they cough, just birdie cough. cough, you know, <laughs> well, I think right you, out. But you, he never you should have body off mellow. Mm -hmm. You do the easy, easy things, try to move. Number two, I see that you have a little bit of a cold, a runny nose. Yeah. Can you be a little Stay courteous? Stay in the bathroom. Yeah, I, might, I might make something up, like, oh, my immune system's suppressed. I, I really need to take precautions. Usually yeah, I wear right a now. bubble, but I left, <laughs> I left my I left bubble at home. Yeah. I know something that hopefully you all know as well, which is, you know, the number one thing you can do to avoid illness on a plane is good hand hygiene. Mm -hmm. But you, you, know, you know who can give us the best possible advice on this? Why don't you tell us? Yeah. A pilot. Yeah. In fact, a pediatrician pilot. Really? Because... Where'd you find one of those? I don't know. Let's take a look. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Welcome aboard Doctor's Flight 5012 with nonstop service to uh, Los Angeles. On board this aircraft, we take your health and safety very seriously. Flight attendants, please prepare for safety demonstrations. On a typical flight of 100 passengers, statistics show that at least five of them will get on board with either the flu or a cold, which means that viruses and bacteria could be lurking all around you. One of the germiest places on this aircraft is the tray table, which is located directly in front of you. They've been found to harbor MRSA and other illnesses. Viruses can live up to 48 hours on a plastic surface, so you're not gonna wanna eat directly off that tray table. Another place germs love to hide is that seat pocket right in front of you. So think about what people put in there, gum wrappers, trash, even dirty diapers. So if you need reading material, best to bring your own and don't stash it in there. Located at the front of the aircraft is the germiest place on this plane, the lavatory. Numerous studies have found that these bathrooms and their door handles are often filled with E. coli and other fecal bacteria. And just so you know, these lavatories are rarely sanitized between flights. Attention passengers, our flight attendant will be coming down the aisle serving the best ways to stay healthy and germ-free during this flight. Use a saline nasal spray 30 to 60 minutes prior to departure, and then use it again after your flight. This helps keep nasal passages moist because without any mucus in your nose, you're unable to shield against viruses and bacteria. Also, you're gonna wanna disinfect your surroundings. Right when you sit down, you're gonna wanna wipe off that tray in front of you, also the armrests. And read the labels. Make sure you use a disinfectant that kills MRSA bacteria. And lastly, turn on the overhead air and aim it towards your chest. This will give you the best airflow to keep any infection or illnesses away from you. Folks, we do hope you enjoyed your flight. And on behalf of the Doctor's Flight Group, we wish you a happy and healthy stay wherever your destination may be.